Thank you. Uh, before I begin, I would like to say thank you to all the people on, uh, at the Princeton Prize who have hosted us on this amazing uh, weekend, and to my fellow prize winners who have given me the inspiration to continue doing what I'm doing, um, going back to school. Um, my name is Michael Wattendorf, and I'm a senior at Thomas Jefferson High School in Alexandria, Virginia. TJ, as we call it, is a fantastic place and has been the number one ranked public high school in the country by US News and World Report for a number of years. Uh, students at TJ have, a similar opportunity, have similar opportunities to students here at Princeton. We are surrounded by peers invested in our education. We, are, we have fantastic teachers, especially in the science and math uh, curricula, and we have the chance to do research at some of the top laboratories in the metro area. TJ does have one glaring problem, though. A serious underrepresentation of minority students, specifically black and Hispanic. This year's freshman class has upwards of 500 students. Five of them are black. Compare that to Fairfax County as a whole, which is 20% African American, and the result is troubling. Uh, when I got to TJ, one of the first things I noticed was the disparity in representation of students from different areas of the county. There were eight kids coming from my middle school, one from the middle school closest to me, and uh, over 50 coming from some of the wealthiest areas of the, of the county. I thought back to my own middle school where people laughed at the kids who applied to TJ, uh, and only a small fraction of the students who weren't in magnet classes even uh, took the test. Um, those students weren't getting rejected from TJ in much higher numbers. They simply weren't interested in applying. During my sophomore year, I joined our school's Black Student Union when a friend of mine asked if I wanted to step with them at our international night. Uh, this opened the door to one of the most important experiences I've had at TJ. Later that year, I was selected to represent BSU at a panel speaking to counselors from middle schools uh, with the lowest acceptance rates to TJ. Observing the audience, I was shocked by the lack of enthusiasm. These counselors were supposed to be the ones encouraging their students to apply, but clearly had the expectation that their students would not be accepted. I felt like I was the only person bothered that these middle schools were all from poorer areas of the county and had a higher minority population. Since that day, our club has started an outreach program we call TJ Inspire, with the help of a grant from our school. Our philosophy for the program is that there are plenty of students from underrepresented races, income groups, and areas of the county that have the capability to get into TJ, but don't because they have not been inspired to participate in the courses and activities necessary. Maybe all parents do not, maybe their parents do not always push them to achieve in math and science. Maybe their teachers and guidance counselors don't tell their kids that, they, that TJ can open doors uh, to explore science and math at a level appropriate for them. But it is also possible that they may, have, uh, they may not have seen firsthand through the elementary school years that this is a place that is exciting to be and exciting to learn. And no matter the color of your skin or the wealth of your parents, you are welcome here. Whatever the reason is, there is a missing piece in their education that we are trying to fill, inspiration. I know that whether I was black, white, rich, or poor, I wouldn't, want to go to, I, if, I wouldn't want to go to TJ if my family, friends, and teachers didn't encourage me to apply. The frustration I have that has fed my interest in this outreach program is that a child's opportunity in education should not be dictated by their parents' jobs, by where they live, or what color their skin is. If a student's parents are immigrants working extra jobs and are therefore unable to be there in the way that my parents were, that, that shouldn't predispose them to a worse education, but it does. If a kid grows up in a neighborhood where only the nerds and the geeks apply to TJ, that shouldn't make him or her decide not to apply, but it does. The solution to TJ's diversity problem is not in changing the admissions process. Our applications are race and income blind, focused instead on the aptitude measured by test scores, strength of coursework, grades, and extracurriculars of applicants. The underrepresentation of minorities is prevalent at every step of the ad admissions process, not just in the students who are accepted. What needs to change what our club is working to change is the culture that breeds that disparity. What need, uh, we hope that be, by being mentors to talented students throughout their later years in elementary school, we can show them that TJ is full of people like them. Oh. Uh, moreover, we hope to show them that TJ is a welcoming place, and if they uh, work hard in middle school, it is an achievable goal. With the help of this prize money, our club will be able to continue to pay for science projects we do with these students, ensuring the vital uh, element of a lasting relationship. In order for race relations to be successful, there has to be a commitment to one another. More than an acknowledgement of the issue, more than brushing shoulders, uh, and more than a dialogue, 
my friends and I are committed. Um, two months ago, we invited the students we mentor to step with us at International Night, the same way my friend invited me four years ago. As those kids stood there on our auditorium stage, stomping and clapping, and loving the TJ the way we do, with 700 plus high school students rising to their feet to support them, I was reminded why I've worked so hard on this program. I was reminded that opportunity for a better education should, not, should be blind to the color of a student's skin, deaf to the amount of money their parents make, but open to the curiosity of their mind. Thank you.